What's up everybody, Twin coming at you guys with an MLB trade reaction video. As a lot of you guys know, I'm a Cardinals fan. One of our players, I guess I should say ex-players, got traded this morning. Tommy Pham got traded to the Tampa Bay Rays. Part of a four-player deal, I believe he got traded for three prospects. If you guys want to see more or enjoy these reaction videos for like trades, maybe MLB news, plays, highlights, stuff like that. If you guys want to see more, you enjoy these, definitely leave a like down in the comment section below. Feel free to give me feedback. I would love feedback from you guys on how to improve this type of video, what you want to see from MLB reaction videos, what you think I should do differently, things you don't think I should change, stuff like that. Because I really, this is my first time really making one of these, so I want to get a lot of your guys' feedback just so I can improve them, maybe do more for you guys and just get better with them as I continue to do more. So I would love your feedback feedback down in the comment section below right now i have some articles pulled up some stats pulled up you know stats for tommy fam stats for the players that the cardinals received in the trade from the rays stuff like that so i'm kind of going to go off that but first i just want to give my initial reaction just as a cardinal fan so tommy fam he was super promising like he started off the year really hot it looked like for a while if he continued the pace he was at then he might even be putting up like mvp type numbers and he slowed down for sure it sucked to see but he wasn't doing terrible or anything like that he spent a lot of his time in the minor leagues i think he's about 30 maybe 31 right now so it took him quite a while to get to the majors but i feel like that maybe gave him some drive to really try and show who he is show what he's capable of and just perform as best as he can and he did really well for like you know a couple weeks in the season and then just started to slow down a little bit but he still was doing solid a good defender pretty solid hitter uh the stats that i have say he was batting 248 14 homers 41 rbis this season and uh, he got off to a hot start it says he was actually hitting 341 in his first 25 games and then obviously about 100 points lower than that at this point in time so it kind of sucks that he slowed down but he still wasn't doing terrible and i remember my dad telling me about this and then i read about it myself uh, Tommy Pham said something just about the Cardinals organization. I don't remember exactly what it was, but uh, just after seeing that, I didn't really expect him to stay. So, like, this trade isn't super surprising for me. It's sad to see him go. He was a solid player, but, like, our farm system, we just we have so many guys that I think could have an opportunity. Harrison Bader's been playing well. Ozuna's finally hitting. Dexter Fowler's starting to hit again. So, like, we have an outfield. Like, we don't necessarily need Tommy Pham we have an outfield ready to go so I'm, I'm not like super heartbroken by this trade like I said it doesn't really surprise me just after reading uh whatever he said about our organization the Cardinals organization like I have no bad blood against him no hard feelings against him or anything like that but just I remember after seeing that after my dad telling me about that it's like yeah <laughs> if he gets traded this season I'm honestly kind of expecting it at this point but we just we have such a good selection of guys that can play the outfield right now Harrison Bader's been doing well all season Ozuna on a left field he's finally starting to do well Dexter Fowler on a right field he's starting to pick it up a little bit so we have an outfield set ready to go we also got Tyler O'Neill down in AAA who can also play the outfield I believe so like we have a lot of options and I think this is honestly for the best Tommy Pham's gonna go somewhere where he's probably gonna play every single day and the reason it took him so long to get called up is because he had an eye problem i don't know if all you guys know this but he had an issue with his eyes and he finally got a fix for it and just started mashing the ball i don't know exactly what the fix was but i just i don't know if they knew about his condition the whole time or he just kind of thought there was something wrong with his vision and finally they got a fix he started to do well he got called up and started to do pretty well in the majors and if i remember correctly he has issues with day games so he plays a lot better with night games and as many of you guys might know tampa bay they play in a dome so there's no day games you don't have to deal with the sun so i think overall that's just going to be a really good spot for tommy fam to go to he's going to get a play every day he's not going to have to deal when he's playing at home he's not going to deal with the day games so i think this is going to be a really good spot for him. i think this is probably one of the better teams that he could have gone to just in terms of situations you know he's going to get a play every day and he's not going to have as many issues with his eyes good weather you know things like that obviously the Rays not a playoff contender um but I do think this is a good spot for Tommy Pham to go so overall reaction as a Cardinals fan kind of sucks he was a good player I like seeing him his story was kind of cool just playing so long in the majors finally getting called up uh, I enjoyed watching him play great outfielder pretty solid hitter but started to slow down wasn't doing too well we got a lot of other guys who can play the outfield 
and uh, I, I was just honestly kind of expecting a trade at some point after reading about those comments that he made about the Cardinals organization. Before I move into the stats and everything, I just I went back and looked at the comments just to, to kind of get a better grasp on what it was. It was pretty much Tommy Pham believed in himself. He had actually played in the big leagues. He had done well, and then he got demoted back to AAA, and no one who hit as well as him in AAA and as well as he was doing in the MLB was in AAA, you know, they were all playing in the big leagues, and Tommy Pham just felt like it was super unfair that the Cardinals outfielders currently had been struggling at that time, and he's over here in AAA, he had done well, he had shown that he can do well in the bigs, and he's getting sent back down, so he just didn't feel like it was fair, he didn't feel like the Cardinals believed in him, which I, I understand, like, like I, I can see where he's coming from, I can see how frustrating that might have been, but I don't think making comments like that are really gonna help your case however maybe he did want to get traded he kind of mentioned that he didn't feel like the Cardinals believed in him so maybe he wanted to go to a different team and uh, I guess it kind of worked in the end so I really hope this works out well for him I wish him nothing but the best I think this is honestly a good move for the Cardinals I think it's a good move for Tommy Pham hopefully it ends up being a good move for the race so I, I know I kind of just said said this but my overall reaction as a Cardinals fan I'm happy for Tommy Pham I think this is a good move I think it's good for the Cardinals I think it's good for Pham hopefully good for the Rays and I'm excited to see how Harrison Bader does starting every day it's nice to see Ozuna finally picking it up three homers in his last three games one of them being a grand slam one of them being a walk-off so it's really cool to see Ozuna doing well Dexter Fowler starting to hit a little bit better so I think this is a good move it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out but now let's get into the kind of stats portion of the video go over fams a little bit more and go over the prospects that the Cardinals got I obviously don't know these stats off the top of my head I'm reading these off of articles and everything the main one is one on ESPN so we're just going to kind of go through it and uh, I guess I'll provide my thoughts on this so the Rays received international slot money from the Cardinals and obviously Tommy Pham and the Cardinals acquired minor leaguers Justin Williams, Genesis Cabrera, and Roel Ramirez. I might be pronouncing those wrong. I'm sorry if I am. Tommy Pham, we already kind of went over this. This season, he's batting 248 with 14 homers, 41 RBIs in his 98 games that he played. He got off to a hot start, batting 341. In his first 25 games, uh, he's had a little bit of injury problems this year, struggled to secure playing time in a crowded Car Cardinals outfield. We kind of talked about that a little bit. Marcelo Zuna, Fowler, Harrison Bader, you know, we talked about that a little bit. And that's one of the reasons I think this is honestly for the best, just for both parties, you know, for fam and the Cardinals. I think this is probably the best situation in 2017 he batted 306 23 homers 25 stolen bases 95 runs scored i remember him saying one of his main goals was to try and get into the 30 30 club 30 homers 30 stolen bases he was close couldn't quite do it but i think playing every day staying healthy he definitely has that opportunity and i really think that tampa bay is a great spot for him to possibly do that right now tommy fam sitting at 14 homers and 10 stolen bases with 56 games left in the season for the race so 56 games he'll need to get 16 homers and 20 stolen bases if he does want to make it into the 30 30 club i don't know if i think he could do that i think he definitely has the potential but in 56 games getting adjusted to a new team new ballpark new league I just don't know if I can see him doing it this year, but you know, if he stays with the Rays next year or moves to another team, I really do, do think he has a chance to do that and uh, get his 30-30 season. So it's going to be kind of fun to follow him, even as a Cardinals fan, him getting traded. It's going to be kind of fun to follow him for the rest of this season and then just into the future as well. Williams, Justin Williams of the Rays, he's 22 years old. He's 0 for 1 with the Rays in the majors this season. Not really a big sample size, batting 0, but 0 for 1. Um, in the minors in AAA, he's batting 258, eight homers, 46 RBIs. Uh, he was a second round pick by the Diamondbacks in 2013. Justin Williams, I believe it shows that he's a right fielder. Now, Cardinals obviously have a pretty full outfield. Got rid of fan. They already have three outfielders who can start every day. Ozuna, Fowler, and Bader. However, in the minors, I know a lot of players are willing to adjust positions. So I'm not too worried about us getting another right fielder. There's always a possibility that he's willing to try and change positions, play something else. If a guy gets injured, always need, you know, someone to replace him as well um young guy as well he's not doing amazing 22 years old 258 average it's solid uh but i definitely think there's room for improvement but he seems like a promising 
prospect just from you know the the small stats that i'm seeing genesis cabrera 21 year old left-handed starting pitcher he's seven and six this season win loss doesn't matter a whole bunch 4.2 era in his 21 appearances this season he's been playing at double a the montgomery biscuits for the rays cardinals obviously need more starting pitching uh, in the future, they'll need starting pitching. You know, teams always need good starting pitchers. Wayne Wright's going to be gone pretty soon. He's been dealing with a lot of injuries. I don't see his career lasting a whole lot longer. Michael Walker's been injured. Carlos Martinez has been struggling a little bit. There's been rumors that he might get traded. Um, so it's just, you know, we got Jack Flaherty. We got Ponce de Leon. Like, we got prospects as well, but it's always nice to have more starting pitchers. They can kind of make their way up, prove themselves, and eventually make it to the big league club. So, you know, that's that seems like a pretty solid prospect to get only 21 years old he was actually born uh like a month and a little bit before me i was born in november of the year he was born in october so he's he's barely older than me man it's just kind of weird to see guys my age getting at a professional ball just kind of funny to see and i think he should be a pretty good prospect for us you know not too bad and finally roel ramirez a 23 year old right-handed pitcher he's three and one this season with a 2.53 era and two levels of the race system this season he's currently at double a with the montgomery biscuits however uh he did play some class a ball this year it's looking like and i think he did really well down there and it looks like just from his stats his whip um his era you know it looks like he's having a pretty solid season this year so he looks like a promising prospect only 23 years old you know we got a few young guys 21 22 23 years old young guys lots of time to improve lots of time to prove themselves so i think these will be guys that the cardinals can possibly have on their team in the future or use in future trades you know just like the rays did they traded for tommy fan with these prospects so i think it works well for the cardinals i think it works well for the rays overall i think it's a pretty solid trade tommy fam he's currently under contract until 2021 so if the rays want to hold on to him that's a couple more two more three more seasons for him to prove himself and i truly think he can get his 30 30 season there i really do think he has potential to do that i think just with the eye issue and the no day games at home having to deal with that I, I really do think this is a good spot for tommy fam to prove himself in the majors and play to the best of his potential ability capabilities stuff like that definitely let me know down in the comment section below ways that i can improve this video leave a like if you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comment section below if you didn't enjoy it if you did enjoy it if you didn't let me know why uh, maybe things i can change if you enjoy these types of videos in general but maybe didn't enjoy mine let me know what i could have done differently or what other people might do uh, that you enjoy it a little bit better. I feel like this is probably a little bit on the longer side um, I don't think every reaction I would do would be this long, but I definitely enjoy doing this You know, I think it's a really nice change of pace um, I could try doing other teams trades not only like a Cardinals trade Cardinals It's July 31st. It's the trade deadline. We need more bullpen guys So I'm really hoping there's other trades that I could potentially cover for you guys today I really really hope so because we need we need more than prospects you know we got rid of an outfielder cool now Bader's gonna get a chance to prove himself he's been having a solid year but our bullpen is trash man like we have such a good starting pitching rotation our, our, our starting pitchers have done so well this season and then our bullpen i think is like the third or fourth worst in the mlb this season in terms of era so I'm hoping that we make more moves that I could possibly cover for you guys today. Maybe do those a little bit differently. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. But I definitely enjoyed doing this type of video. I know Mark and Fuzzy do this type of video a lot. Fuzzy does some MLB reactions as well to just like plays, highlights, stuff like that. So I'm looking to get a little bit more into that just because they both seem to really like it. I enjoy watching those videos. And in addition to MLB The Show, I think it's definitely just a nice change of pace. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it because I actually really liked making this type of video. If you guys watch my MLB videos, you watch my MLB streams, you probably know I'm more of a casual fan. I never really get into things like this, trades, individual stats, stuff like that. So I think it would be kind of fun uh to just maybe try and every day every other day just a few times a week make videos like this whether it's about trades stats highlights things like that i think it would be a lot of fun to do just to get my baseball knowledge a little bit up man you guys can help me in the comment section below maybe certain things you want me to cover things like that and i think it would be a win-win you guys get an entertaining video you guys get you guys help me make a video that's entertaining for you guys we get better at this you know we, we kind of progress together a little bit 
and I, th I just think it would be a lot of fun. You guys see me get more knowledgeable of baseball, get better at these videos. I think, I think it would be a lot of fun, just a nice change of pace to switch it up from just only MLB The Show. I think it would be a lot of fun to mix it up. So hopefully you guys are okay with that, okay with more of these types of videos. And hopefully I can provide more of these for you if you guys do enjoy it. But final reactions, Tommy Fam, I'll miss him, but not super surprised about this trade. I think in the end... It's the right thing to do. I think it's kind of what a lot of people were expecting uh, with Tommy Pham getting traded somewhere just after everything that happened this season. Kind of a full outfield. So, excited that the Cardinals are making moves. Not a whole lot of time left on the trade deadline. And uh, I'm hoping we make some more moves, man. We need some bullpen guys. Our bullpen has just been not getting it. Has not been getting it done this year. And I'm hoping we get some more people. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Uh, if you do leave a dislike or you didn't enjoy the video, maybe you still left a like or something, but you didn't necessarily enjoy the video, let me know why in the comments. Provide feedback in the comments, what you did, what you didn't like, what you think I should change. Maybe stuff you want to see from IRL baseball content, stuff like that. Reactions, highlights, all that good stuff. Leave it down in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again so much for watching. Hopefully the video wasn't too long. Hopefully it was okay. Like I said, first time ever really doing one of these, so hopefully it wasn't too bad. I'll see you next time. Thank you again so much for watching. Peace out.